All right, howdy folks. We're just here. It's a pretty cold morning. It's actually not not early in the morning. We don't we don't do early on Saturdays. You can see everything's nice and frozen. Naomi said that there was a mustard that uh, sprouted up, or uh, flowered up here. I don't see it. Oh yeah, I do. Right there. Anyway. So we're gonna do a milking video, and it should be pretty cool. Naomi's our milker right now. Here's our little milking shed. We call it the milking parlor, and uh, it's just a hoop house. Juxtapose. Juxtapose. Hopefully this works in the dark. Yeah, it's not too bad. So the goats get kind of trained to jump up. They know where the grain is. They know the routine. It's pretty much uh, same routine twice a day. They get trained to it. That's all we ask of them is that they, mm -hmm. they do good milking. So yeah, the goats get trained. Pretty much they know the drill. Um, and all we got going in here is we have a filter, a uh, stainless steel filter, and it covers we covers the can. We pour uh, milk into the bucket, weigh it, write it down, and pour it into there. Now it's it's cold out. It's it's uh, I don't know what twenty degrees. Twenty maybe. degrees. So we're not super chilling right now. But if it, like in the summer months. Naomi would put uh, this this bucket or this can in this bucket uh, full of ice and water, ice and water to super chill it. Yeah. That, that gets you through the summer, but uh, this is plenty cold because the can's cold. Everything's cold out here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's cold. It's cold. It's a cold morning. Okay, so um, geez, are People ask about teat dip and everything, I bet. We don't teat dip. Um, we take a warm washcloth. Warm because who wants a cold washcloth? Wipe the teats off. Wipe the udder off. You know, and that actually get, uh, starts to stimulate the dough as well. The, the wet, wet, the warm, warm wet on the teats um, kind of signals her to be ready yep yep and then i always wipe all the way up to here because they sometimes have grass or straw yeah on their belly god we should have uh dry it's should, important to dry yeah now see normally we would have a dairy shave too and the udder all of this let's see if the camera's okay all of this would be shaven and her whole udder and she would be shaved up to here up to about here and inside the legs she was shaved last spring yeah we shaved and, her last uh, spring it's just been a while I it makes it easier to clean uh we've had people look at us and go why do you do that and it's it's actually kind of necessary in dairy but um you know beings this is just for ourselves yeah. and it sucks to milk and be pulling hairs at the same time yeah so we do a strip cup couple squirts from each teat just yep. to get the end of the teat clean and our strip cup is it's called cat tax actually we do that's why we do three squirts per teat is we call it the cat tax <laughs> yeah she's out somewhere she might show up she's on the bed so, can... okay. yeah. so that's really it we are uh, not gonna make you suffer through a whole how long it takes to milk it'll take her about five it'll take her about five minutes yeah. of squeezing like that and uh, um, pretty much we we keep a milk journal um, I know people that, that don't keep them um, and we just do that to uh, you know so we can keep track of how much every dough is producing and see how good they produce um, it's really handy Naomi enters all this data into uh, what do you use? Spreadsheet, Excel. Excel? 
she she makes an excel sheet um with this and, and we can see the actual lactation curves of all the does and uh you know compare them to each other and look at them in all kinds of different ways i also <clears throat> use the journal to write down when does are in heat or when they've been wormed or basic information on them yeah yeah any anything of note goes in the milk journal weigh it and we weigh it, so eight eight pounds is a gallon, so we're just under half a gallon there. Three, yeah, 3.8 pounds. Yep, and that'll go in the filter. And that's a milking, and she'll, how, how many are we milking now? I'm milking four right now. I'm that's actually cool. milking all the Jinx. Jinx line daughters or granddaughters. Yeah. Three daughters and one granddaughter. Huh. So this is juxtaposed. And next to milking juxtaposed the daughter, J Dam. Yeah. And then that's Jasper's sister, the twin right there. Our buck that's in our breeding videos. <laughs> the big hunk of love. A good milker should have like about an inch and a half of foam on top of the bucket. When they're done, when you get good at it, it'll just be like frappe in there uh, from shooting the milk in and you'll work up a bunch of foam on the top. I remember the first uh, couple of times I milked, um, the milk in the pail was just <laughs> smooth, flat on the top. I was milking that slow. It took me like 45 minutes, I kid you not. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to... Good. <laughs> so yeah, here's a rumen. This is her rumen on the left side, over here. And this is just something personal. This is not nobody ever, ever told us to do it this way or said that that was the way to do it. We just we just like to see, uh, we like to see the rumen and see that it's full. Um, we don't we don't like to get our dairy girls, um, to where you know that's that's sucked in there kind of and you can't see the room very well now it's a completely different story with a weather or a buck or a doe that's not lactating or mm -hmm. or uh, uh pregnant see look at that that's room and capacity and our dairy goats that's what we build that's what we go for look at that room and capacity because you you got if you think about it like a goat is supposed to have a three and a half gallon room and and the the next ruminant up that has a, a rumen uh, as big as a goat is a horse. Um, I think the horse is the horse is the same size. I can't remember, but they're uh, goats have a proportionately very large rumen. And in a dairy goat, like one of our goals is to build a big rumen throughout their life. Hi, Revely.